Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL that generation here from year 2017 or 2014. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the speedometer fuses are located, you need to check three fuses in two different fuse boxes. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them. Where you can guys buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix transmissions engines bodywork interior electrical engine codes almost absolutely everything why we do that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and on this channel alone today guys we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL why let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located where fuel injector fuse is located uh, all you have to do watch the video one two minutes you replace that fuse you're back on the road so we make it for your convenience guys please subscribe to the channel like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way do not waste money and time so let's start on it now so the speedometer fuses where you can expect to find them guys we will demonstrate on that generation gmc yukon right here if you have a yukon xl practically we have the same vehicle with just longer guys they're built on the same platform so here now okay you have uh three different fuse boxes today we're working to the first one that we need is on the driver's side open the door on the side of the dash you have that cover remove it and underneath it you'll find the main interior fuse box with a layout like that one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so here guys okay for the speedometer which fuses we need to check two in this fuse box one in another one oh and by the way if you need to buy any fuses parts tools for gmc yukon or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put the link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money coming here even if you have a missing fuse you count that spot you have on top one two three four five six seven fuse number seven will need to be checked then you go like that 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 21 22 right here guys that fuse will need to be checked as well next you need to go ahead and open the, the hood under the hood you have that fuse box here open the cover that's the main engine fuse box and here you need to check fuse number 46 that 10m fuse right here hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching see you next time